You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. Good evening. The Mudlarks Drama Group proudly present The Bone of Doom, a Preston mystery in ten episodes. Episode 6. In last week's episode, Mrs Haynes had discovered another cryptic clue about the whereabouts of her cousin Cora. Time ticks on, we all decay. Is it life or art, who can say? From nothing, one is taken away. How's that to be, two of three? Good grief, that's even more cryptic than the first one. I really don't think that Falverton can have anything to do with this. I can't see that she'd be able to make up these clues. It was definitely a man we saw coming out of Madame Rose's tent, but she claims the last person to visit her was a woman. But Falverton could still be controlling things, getting someone else to do her dirty work, so that no one suspects it's her. Perhaps it was Falfetin that Madame Rosa saw in disguise. Oh, I don't know. I can't really concentrate on who's behind it at the moment. I just want to find Cora. Let's go back to the hotel and work on this clue, shall we? Perhaps Jean has run with some more information. No, I think I'd rather stay out in the open air for a while. Let's sit down here. If we can't work out what this clue is about in, say, half an hour, then we will go back to the hotel ring, Jean. Right. Well, let's take it a line at a time. That's the way to solve the puzzles, isn't it? Yes, usually. Now, time ticks on, we all decay. Well, time ticking could mean anything. Hours, days, clocks, I don't know. But I think that we all decay bit is obvious. Could it mean that we only have so many hours left? It could be some sort of countdown, yes. But to what? The next clue? Or... We already know how long we've got to find Cora, so I don't think it can be that. Unless it's a reminder. What's the next bit? Is it life or art? Who can say? Art? Didn't Mrs Roberts say that there was an art exhibition somewhere in town? In the town hall. She said it was by a French sculptor, didn't she? Modern art, I think. Well, I'm afraid I don't understand this modern art stuff at the best of times. It always seems like you have to stand on your head to make any sense of it. Of course. Pardon? That's what the is it life or art? Who can say must mean. That's where the next clue is, at the town hall. Come on, Martha. What if the clue is amongst the exhibits? I can't just go around it. Excuse moi Madame Ams, you left your purse on the table. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry, but I could not help a really... You were talking about the art exhibition in the town hall. Perhaps I could help. How do you mean? I have been to the exhibition. The artist, Monsieur Bouchard, speaks very little English. If you would like, I will be able to translate for you, if you need to ask him any question that is. That's very kind of you, but... Madame Ams, I know that you are very worried about someone close to you, someone who is in danger, and I know that you do not have much time to find have her. Have you been eavesdropping? Martha! Please, Madame Ams, your friend is naturally concerned. I know only what I can see in your aura. Aura, Martha? Martha, please... Thank you, Madame Rosa. We would appreciate your help. The sooner we get to the exhibition, the better. It says on the poster that the exhibition is in the main room. Yes, it is this way. Here we are. There aren't many people here. That's good. Ugh! Do those jars contain what I think they contain? And are those piles of bones? Preston... The exhibition is called Au fin du temps. It means at the end of time. Of course. We all decay. This must be the place. Look, Martha, over there in that glass cabinet. That must be the piece that Mrs Roberts said was worth £4,000. Do you think they're real bones he stuck those diamonds onto? Ah, mesdames, charmant, charmant. Bienvenue à ma petite exposition. Mais non, pas de chien. Pas de chien. Chou, chou. Preston. He's not going to hurt you. What's upset him? S'il vous plaît, Monsieur Pochard. Ce chien s'appelle Prestin. Prestin? Oui, vous le connaissez. Il est célèbre. Et ici, c'est Madame Ams. Non. 
Mais c'est incroyable Je vous ai suivi dans les journaux, je suis si heureux que vous soyez ici, c'est un honneur. I'm sorry, monsieur... Monsieur Pochard, he says that he has been reading about you in the papers, and he is happy and honored that you are here. Monsieur Pochard... J'avais dédié ma plus belle sculpture à vous. Merveilleux quel honneur What did he say He has dedicated one of his sculptures to you. I wonder which pile of bones it is. Oh, that's kind. Please, Madame Mans, I have made this sculpture for you and your dog. The one in the glass cabinet Oui, elle s'appelle le prix du temps. It is called the reward of time. Are they real bones My word, there must be at least 50 diamonds stuck to each of them. Mais oui. Oh, mon Dieu Calmez-vous, monsieur Qu'est-ce qui se passe? Un des os de diamant a disparu. What's the matter? One of diamond covered bones is missing. <musique>